This new technology, this new trend only proves that despite the pandemic crushing our local economy, national economy, and even the global economy, that there is still an abundance of money to be made out there. What am I talking about? I'll explain in this episode of the Seven Fear Squad happening three, two, one. Let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. Who's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, a direct west suburb of downtown Chicago. And in this episode, I want to help you out. What do I mean? Well, in this episode, we'll be covering the latest craze, N. NFTs. So what in the world are NFTs and why should you care? I know many of you are lost and even confused in the middle of this NFT craze because I was there too. Well, I had the honor once again to come on air with News Nation Now and give my two cents on whether non-fungible tokens are just a trend or are they here to stay. Let's check this out. Well, non-fungible tokens, also known as NFTs, are seemingly everywhere right now, from multi-million dollar sales of famous tweets to digital sports trading cards to digital art. The NFT market is absolutely booming right now. Even musicians are getting in on the game with The Weeknd tweeting that his next single will be released via digital token. But many people... And you're looking at one, seem to, looking at me, not him, he knows, he seemed to know what an NFT actually is, let alone why people are willing to spend big, big bucks, if not millions, to own one of these things. So joining us now to explain the rise of NFTs and whether they're just a fad or the new big thing is Matt Zapala. He is the co-host of the Money Smart Show podcast and also chief distribution officer for the PHP agency. Matt, thank you for joining us to clear up a topic that I will admittedly say to you, I have no idea. So my first <laughs> question about NFTs is WTH. <laughs> Ex <laughs> explain it to me, Matt. What is it and how does it differ from the physical version of things that we're all kind of used to. Rob, good evening. Uh, great to be here. Listen, fungible and non-fungible. So we're talking about non-fungible token. So let's discuss what a fungible token is. For example, I'm going to hold up a couple things that are fungible. Piece of silver. I can exchange for a piece of silver. I can exchange uh, you for a piece of gold. You have some uh, grams of gold, ounce of gold. It gives you give some gold. How about cash? You give me a $100 bill, I give you 520s. These are called fungible. Now, this is called non-fungible. Forget the token part for a second. Well, non-fungible. This is, uh, for example, a, um, a, a Tom Brady uh, a sports card, okay? There's uniqueness about this. There's only one of these in this grading, this serial number. So this is called a non-fungible asset, okay? You were from Chicago, right? How about a Michael Jordan rookie card? Non-fungible uh, uh, asset. Now, let's talk about NFT, non-fungible token. Now, we're talking about digital stuff where these things now are going from physical assets now to digital assets meaning that uh this is a new innovation in our world today and so how does it work exactly like i'm here in the weekends putting his new single out as an nft and then we the guy who sure. founded twitter sold his first tweet we're talking big big money here the, the, the thing here about non-fungible talking how it's used is because remember napster back in the day everybody was just grabbing songs oh, yeah. and downloading them on computers well, sadly, the artists never got paid for that, you know. And so, and, and now, right, the only asset that you can asset that you can per, uh, uh, sell your 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 music on is uh, Apple Music, right? Selling it digitally online. Where now the weekend, and and many other artists, and and whether you're an artist, uh, 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 artwork or musical artist, now they're creating digital assets that's now unique, and they can retain they can retain ownership of it. They can have royalties of it. And, and so, so the, the, the uh, ability for them to continue to make money long after they've put out their work, that's the attraction of how it's being used right now. And so they can prove authenticity and ownership to anything. You can have a copy, but only, is there only one owner, and that's the person who purchases the non-fungible token. So is this a way for athletes and musicians and others to kind of cut out a, a middleman and make sure that whatever money's generated by this thing comes to me as opposed to all these layers in between? 
That's that's correct. And they're, they're going right now. NBA has uh, uh, unveiled their own uh, uh, tokens. Of course, they're, the uh, the players are an asset and owned by the uh, the NBA. Same thing to the NFL because they're selling it. Of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some form of uh, uh, agreement there with their players and how to do that, just like they have with jerseys. But uh, this is something that is basically online and be, 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 you know buying an NFT give you some basic usage rights like being able to post the image online, uh, bragging rights, again, that you own the art. And again, it's everything is registered on the blockchain. So you can't say, I, 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 I can't lie about what I own. Hey, it's registered in the blockchain. I own it. You might have a copy of it, but I got the original and continue to send me royalties and payments uh, uh, you know, forthcoming. And real quick, in five seconds, is this a fad or something here to stay? Is this the new business model? It's, I don't think, I think it's here to stay. I think there's a little bit of a heightened bubble because it's exciting. It's new. I mean, $1.9 trillion of money just got splashed in the economy. 20% of the money that's ever been printed in the United States of America was printed in the last 12 months. There's a lot of money uh, on the sidelines right now looking for somewhere to go. This might be something that might be a, a current bubble, but it's definitely not a Fed. I think it's here to stay. Wow. Well, I'm going to continue to, I appreciate your expertise tonight. I'm going to continue to read up and to process this. In the meantime, you mail me those, uh, those 20s because I still like cold, hard, <laughs> tangible cash. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks for your time, man. We appreciate it. Folks, the future is here. Digital assets recorded and tracked on the blockchain have made people millions. But will it last? And should you get into it now? Well, I'm not a financial advisor and by no means is this financial advice, but I believe whether or not you get involved in the wild, wild west of NFTs, you must build your financial home on solid ground first. And that includes values, principles, discipline, and yes, even insurance. Now, I'm not saying that these NFTs are just a fad, but if you let these shiny objects just distract you, you're opening yourself up for a grave mistake that will not make you and help you become a first generation cash flow millionaire. What am I talking about? Watch this video right here to avoid making that fatal mistake. And also check out this video right here about why inflation is skyrocketing, the dollar is crashing, and what you can do to get ahead of it. So with that being said, please drop your thoughts, comments, follow-ups, feedback, questions in the comments section below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our Facebook business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. That being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue smart, continue love smart, and be money smart today.